Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first video of practicallyandroid.com where we go over practical and beneficial ways to use your Android in everyday life. Today I'm going to show you something that's called Simi Clock Widget. Um, it's a free app in the Android market. Excuse me. There you have it. Um, and basically what it is is just the, the way the reason I came across is I was looking for an app where it displayed a lot of information in a small amount of space and there it is and it actually does it quite well it ob obviously we have our, our time our date we have the weather and the battery life which is really useful but it goes beyond that each of these sections actually is a shortcut for up to five more apps so for example I'm trying to you know do it this is kind of trickier if you don't have a stand because I'm holding this but and excuse this guy over here with his uh, lawnmower anyway but let me go back and do this so each of these sections is actually a shortcut for up to five other apps and it, it's really easy to set up and I'll, show, I'll go over that in just a second so you can have it you can have each section be a shortcut for up to five apps or you can just have it be a shortcut for one app so my battery widget I have as my app killer shortcut and I know a lot of people don't like um, app killers but I've actually found it quite useful so there you have it um, you can move this around so I'll do that here for you in just a second Oop. you can move it around and it all stays together so it's not like a bunch of different ones but super useful for a couple of reasons um, I often, I often found myself going through, like say my phone was locked, I hope I don't drop it here, it's kind of far, I have insurance, so say you go to unlock your um, your phone, then you go through and find the app you want, and then you turn it on, um, and it, you know, sometimes it can take a long time, but this way I actually have, I can have up to 20 apps right at my thumb's reach which is super nice. Um, I mean, I'm all about just the shortest, easiest way to get there, and this absolutely does it for me. Um, before I end here, I'm just gonna show you guys kind of how the setup is. Now, let me zoom in here so you guys can kind of see. So, and I put the, the most, the apps I use the most in this middle one, just because it's the easier for me to, easiest one for me to tap. The not so, the ones that I, I don't use every day, I put on here, and then, the ones that I use more than the ones over here, I guess. I guess that's not very scientific, but um, I mean, just find a way that works the best for you. Um, but anyway, what I was where I was going is that so you can do up, you can populate up to five apps, and then it'll always have um, the menu button for the semi menu. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, it's that one right there. So when you tap on it, when you first open up the app, this is what you're going to see, and it's kind of really overwhelming. But, but let me let's just go through it. And this is kind of a Windows type thing where you make a change and you have to save it, okay? Um, so basically all you do, there, there's your date settings. So for each of these four sections, there's going to be a little menu section for it. So let's go back in it. Um, so there's your date settings and you can display the date, display the week of the year, whatever. Time settings for the time. The divider settings, which is that divider between the hour and the minutes. The background color, the launch settings, weather settings, battery settings. And this part down here is actually what it's going to look like as you make the changes. So I have mine on clear, and you can change that under background colors. And you set them all to one side, or you can, let me show you if I make a little bit of a change here and hit OK. Oh wait, hold on. You can change the colors, but you actually have to change the transparency as well. And this might seem a little confusing, but it won't be once you get in it. So um, you just mess around with these first three columns, and then you change the transparency here. Hit this and save, and see how it, it does the background a different color. I personally quite like it um, transparent, so I'm going to go back and change it. Um, that's the way it works. I mean, it's really cool. It's a way to keep things really simple. So basically, I have my background. Um, I have my 20-something apps that I, on here. I have my to-do list. 
my app drawer. Um, so that that's pretty much it. So it's called Simi Clock Widget. Check it out. Go ahead and comment on below if see if if you've liked it, if you haven't, or whatnot. But there you are. Practically Android.com.